Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the farm life. Today, we are out in Farming Simulator 22 once again. Now, right now, I'm still working on that contract we got in the first job. I don't know how much of this will get done today. I don't think there's a time limit on these, and I really don't want a full episode of me, you know, playing with grass, literally. So, yeah, we'll periodically do this as we uh, do more episodes, but I, I, I may as well finish up doing whatever the hell I'm doing right now, bundling it together. And truly what I want to do today is try some of the new crops. I also want to get into the manufacturing a little bit, so I think what I'm going to go for is grape harvesting. It's going to be totally different from wheat because it's an orchard, so we're going to need a totally unique machinery. And with that, I should also mention I've already downloaded a mod to get money in the game. Uh, I know a lot of you guys probably want to see me just slowly earn money in this game, but with how insane this simulator is, it would take me forever to showcase a lot of the game if I was to actually earn every dollar I'm doing. So we're going to mod in some money for that exact reason, farming a equipment is expensive and i do want every episode to be kind of unique and exciting and yeah i think we're going to try our best to hopefully do some grape farming today and turning those grapes into i believe it's raisins and grape juice all right man that was uh not easy this is this is a very long job i mean a surprise surprise i'm earning twenty thousand to do it but uh even like that took over 20 minutes i'm just curious how many uh bales am i actually making with this because if it's a lot i think the transporting is going to be the hardest part but yeah we're done that process now i think i might actually just out of curiosity start the next process if it's fun i'll keep going but yeah, right, right now, we may as well take this back to the shop and pick up wh whatever else we need. All right, so we're going to get uh, the AI to take it back. So as I said, I modded in something that some of you might not like, but it's essentially a money cheat. So you have government subsidy and municipal subsidy. We'll get $350 an hour or three, $350,000 an hour. So I think if we just put one of these down, now we are subsidized by the government and we should earn 350,000 every hour. So that is a lot of money. We, will, we might take off that sign sooner or later, but again, I'm, I'm not here to do a full playthrough of this game. I, I know some of you guys want to see that, but it would just be so many episodes. And unfortunately, I am a variety channel, so I can't just do Farming Simulator all the time as much as I would like to. I don't know why he came here, by the way. I, I guess I accidentally put it there. Anyways, we're, we're close to the shop, so we'll just take it over. And we've already earned $350,000. We're at four hundred fifty in the bank now, so I don't think there's actually a lot of money needed for grape farming, which is nice. Uh, I think one or two more hours and we should be good. But as we wait for that, we may as well move on to the next process. So we are going to be bailing next, I'm pretty sure. That's what that yellow machine is. So we're just going to drop this here. All right, so we're back at the massive field. Let's see how this thing works. Turn on baler. I'm assuming we just... Okay, we can change the bale size. I'm assuming we're going to need the suggested one. It, uh, this game doesn't really tell you much, but let's unfold. We always got to do that. I think we just simply turn on. Sounds like it's on. And then we just drive over this? Maybe not. Uh, what, what am I doing wrong? Do I have to wait longer? Oh, we have to lower it. That would make sense. Okay, vehicles reserved for contract work. I'm doing contract work. There we go. Now we're picking up the grass. So now it's all about just driving in a, well, somewhat straight line. I didn't do the best with these. The, these do actually change the ground type as well. So I got to actually drive over it and it's actually quite difficult this might actually be the first thing that makes sense to do in first person i mean you can see how bumpy it is now what i want to see is the bales come out though yeah poop it out and i should just leave it on the ground for us to pick up later on i just wanted to see how many we're actually making because i think this is gonna be a big job well i kind of zoned out and did almost the whole field i may as well just finish it up at this point this is a very zen job you know and there's something very pleasing about seeing an almost perfect field with a bunch of hay bales in it. So yeah, we got like six or seven more lines. We may as well just finish it up and uh, get this part of the job done. Okay, and look at that. It is beautiful. That is so many I got to manually pick up and move though. Oh my God, just poop it out. Get it out of there. How, how the hell do I drop it off? Oh, why? <laughs> there they go. The final two. Get out of here. Okay, so this thing comes out, operating position, transporting position. Okay, so yeah, you can transport with this on, obviously. I think I just drive over them now? Can I speed run this? Is, is this dumb? This is definitely, oh, there we go, okay. Wow, this actually might be very fast. Okay, okay, slow down, slow down. Look at this. 
Dude, farming equipment is the coolest thing in the world, I swear. These, these these machines are amazing. So it stacks two at a time, it looks like. All right, well, let's just fill this once and sell it and see if I did this contract at least somewhat right. I think we can hold a max of 14. It looks like there's enough room for one more row, but hey, I'm not going to complain. That's actually quite a bit. This is actually, I think, the biggest plot of land in the game. Okay, 70 is a bit bigger, but it's one of the bigger ones. So yeah, this was a huge job for that reason. All right, so there's an animal dealer here. I don't know if that's the only one on the map, but we'll just uh, get a bot to send it there. All right, well, he's doing that. We're going to prep. What's the car doing in here? That's weird. I've never seen that. Uh, but we're going to buy everything we need for grape farming. We're going to utilize the PAX thing here because it has everything I, I want anyways. I already checked it. It's actually, as you can see, not as expensive as a lot of things in this game. It looks to be about maybe 300000 total. And then obviously we can customize these if we want to. Um, do I want three point? I think I want three point. I don't know. Let's get a better engine though, you know? Get the best engine we can possibly get in this bat. No, let me, I mean, let's not, let's relax a bit. Jesus. That should be a decent engine. This thing's designed to be very small to get between the um, orchard uh, vines anyways. So it's not meant to be really powerful. Okay, and there we go. We have all my new equipment. Now we just got to get in season and set up a whole orchard. No big deal. My worker did great by hitting a sign and getting stuck. Good job, worker. Where are we right now? Well, we're almost there. So that worked out. It's actually just across the road. He was trying to align himself into the sign, I guess. So that was my fault. Ah, uh, this is probably it. It looks like it's a drop off. Again, I'm still learning, guys. So bear with me here. I mean, it has a thing unloading. That means I probably need to unload it, right? I'm so nervous of doing this because I don't know how you pick them up again. If you even can. I'm just going to do it. We'll see what happens. Worst case... You know, I've, I've wasted hours of my life doing this. I don't even know how this thing unloads. I'm assuming it tips upwards. So let's just try it. You know, let's screw it. Oh, God. Oh, what? Why, why is that opening? What? Oh. Yes! Sell it! Please! Unload bales here. Yes! I did it! I'm not that dumb. Okay. Whew. That actually scared me because I thought I screwed up the whole thing. Now is my contract further down now? Yes. Okay. I'm actually doing it right. I mean, I don't care about the money anymore. I have over a million in the bank, but it just feels good doing it right, you know? All right. So we'll do the rest later. Let's go prep an orchard. <laughs> okay. So planting season for grapes is in Jan... No, not January. This is a confusing list. In March. So that's the first thing we got to do is, you know, just sleep like a freaking bear until March. I know I have canola growing, but who cares? Oh, crap. I forgot to get rid of my sign, too. I... I think I'm going to make a lot of money right now in this sleep. The most money I've ever made. Sleeping does take a long time in this game. Oh, yeah. Nice, Chris. Seven million in the bank now. Sick. All right. So we'll sell our, our sign. And I don't think I'm going to need more money for the time being. I don't want to ruin my whole playthrough here. Seven million's a lot, but you can spend it very quickly on farming equipment. And voila. Welcome to six months later. Snow still on the ground. Well, that was quick. Um, at, le at least we got to see snow for a second. So, yes, welcome back to my field. Oh, my God. All right, we got this really small field here. So, I just got rid of all the weeds. I don't think I need to. I actually think they would have helped because I have to mulch them anyways. But it should help uh, when I place the vines here because we got to manually place them. So, I should be able to see a little bit easier. So, let's do that now. As I said, we're going for grapes. And we have to manually place these rows so we want them obviously close together that way we're using as much space as possible but it should i thought it was supposed to snap into place maybe not so hopefully i can make these as straight as possible and yeah we definitely didn't need to um mulch because as you can see grass is already added to this as well all right but that should be good as you can see a little bit sideways we can probably get one more in there but this is more of a tester than anything else and yeah, these things are already planted. The vines are in the ground. So now we just got to wait for them to grow a little bit. And then we can till this soil. All right, so we slept for a month. Let's see if we have any growth. Yes, indeed. There are some little grapes. Well, we don't see the grapes yet, but we at least see the leaves now. So now we're going to mulch this. This will help fertilize the ground. And this will be step one of making sure these things are actually fertilized. So we just got to go between each row and stay as close to the vines as possible without crashing into them. But yeah, if you were curious why you wanted this small of a tractor, this is exactly why. We, uh can just squeeze through here with this little guy but this is working great i am leaving a little bit of grass behind it doesn't have to be perfect 
Obviously, the more fertilized we get this, though, the better the yield will be. So, I might even want to do two passes trying to get as close to these vines as possible. So, yeah, I definitely should have spent more time making sure these things were as tight as possible. Because, as you can see, uh, I have left a lot of grass in certain rows. Did I miss any rows? Yeah, I got one row here. You can clearly see where I've been, though. But, yeah, this is just getting rid of all the grass. And we're going to be using that as a compost once we get on to the next task. Which we, I guess, can do now. I could go through a couple more times, but I think that's good enough. So it is cultivation time. We're going to bury that grass that we just clipped with this cute little yellow thing here. So attach it and get back. All right, this should be pretty easy. It is just a cultivator, but now we're going to rip up this ground and uh, put that grass in it. So it should just be as simple as dropping it down and getting this nice and close, right? Yes, indeed. That is looking good. Maybe I should have bought that better engine. I'm spinning like crazy. All right, and there we go. That didn't take too long at all, but there we go. We have a nice, pretty little vineyard with our first process. Well, I guess technically that was like two processes. Done. Now, it doesn't say fertilization. I think I need to wait. Again, it's, it's composting. It doesn't happen right away. So I think we'll wait another growth cycle here. And then we'll see if indeed the ground's been fertilized a little bit. And we also still have to spray it. So I'm hoping we can get 100% fertilization. I don't know if it will happen or not. Again, we're kind of learning as we go here, but we're having fun. All right, I, I rested a month. I don't think we got to the next growth phase because, yeah, we, these should be bigger, I think. And we're still at zero fertilization. So you know what? We'll, we'll just go to sleep again. Because if I remember correctly, you can only do one method of fertilization every growth phase. If you do two, it's only going to use one of them. At least in the old games, I believe it did it that way. So I want to make sure before I do the next part that we have bigger growth phases. And maybe I am doing this wrong. I don't know. So if we look at the growing uh, filter, you can kind of see the different phases. We're kind of in the middle right now. So I think we still have a little bit of time to go. I think I might just go for liquid fertilization now because we are at the end of planting season now. So even if we didn't do the first part perfectly, uh, we can at least get some liquid fertilizer on these things just in case it's not actually working. So what I think I did wrong is I shouldn't have cultivated that field before I started because it says once the grass is growing high. I don't think it was technically high when I mulched the grass and I think that was the issue. I just didn't have enough grass to fertilize it. So we'll know for next year. At least looking through that, I did it right. I know that. I just didn't wait long enough for the grass to grow. So we got our fertilizer here. Well, we got our fertilization tank. I also bought some liquid fertilizer. I think we can just go beside this and fill it, right? Yeah, refill sprayer. There we go. I don't think we're going to need much, so I only bought one pallet of it. I think this holds two. We'll see in a second here. Does it stop? Yeah, 49%. Okay, that should be more than enough for this season. So yeah, a bit of a bummer that the first aspect didn't work. But hey, it's a learning experience. This is the easy part. Li I mean, liquid fertilizer should always work. There we go. We're spraying. We're just going to go down each line here. And this should at least be 50% fertilization now. Really cool to see how this thing works, though. It's just a giant fan in the back, as you can see. And it's just spraying it outwards by, I guess, throwing it into the fan, I'm assuming. Anyways, this was way easier than the other job. I mean, it might make sense if you're really lazy to just fertilize and that's it. I mean, there's options. You can do whatever the hell you want. You don't even need fertilizer if you don't want to. But now it should be, yeah, fertilized 40%. So I could even probably go through once again to get 50. I think each type of fertilization only maxes out to 50, though. I'm happy with this. Again, we're just testing to make sure I'm doing everything right. So now we'll just wait until we see some grapes. Ah, and there we go. The magic of fertilization. Look at that. We got... I'm seeing the, uh, the, the smallest of grapes there, as you can see, but they are growing taller, so... Uh, it's gonna need to be a few more months. It's not even harvest season yet anyways. But yeah, I'm so happy that at least we're growing grapes at the bare minimum. <gasps> yes! That's what I'm talking about! Look at that! We got freaking grapes. And they are indeed ready to harvest. So once they're blue, they're good to go. I have everything I need here. And now for the fun part. We get to play with this big old thing. Look at this. I'm actually a little nervous with this. This is going to be hard. I, the whole goal here is to get the vines to go right into the middle. And this little mechanism will strip them of their grapes. So first of all, we want to unfold. Oh yeah, look. <laughs> I'm getting higher. I think that's it, right? Just turn it on now. 
It vibrates with excitement, and oh my god, this, I mean, I, again, I keep saying it, but farming machinery is the coolest freaking thing ever. And that's why I like playing this game so much, just learning how things work, it's so fun. Um, now we do want to make sure this is nice and straight, I don't want to screw this up, it's not like I got a big harvest here. And it's probably very easy to screw it up, so nice and slow, get it in there, straighten it. You're yes, shake those plants, look at that! I have five liters of grapes already. Are you excited? I don't even know where they go. They probably go... Well, the chaff comes out the back, as you can see. And yes, there's my little grapes. Okay, let's go nice and slow. <laughs> and just shake these uh, vines free of their delicious grapes. All right, let's just try this first person just to feel like a badass. Is there a view? Oh, I thought that camera was real. I think it's a fake camera. That's a big bummer because that could actually be really helpful in here. I'm going to try and align this. I don't even know where I'm really aiming, though. But you know what? I, I like a challenge, damn it. This is not straight at all. Is it? Is it? Is that good? I think that's the, the part where I put it in, right? Holy crap, I'm doing it. I think I'm doing... I hope I'm doing it. Uh, the leaders are going up, so I'm definitely doing it right. It's, you would think there's like a viewing area down here or something where you have to look, but I, I guess not. I guess farmers are just naturals at this. I will say, especially with this machinery, this is a crop that definitely benefits from a long field, not, not a square field. Because <laughs> trying to align this every row is just taking the majority of the time. All right, but there we go. Our first harvest is almost done. Look at all those beautiful grapes going in. I don't know how to unload this thing, by the way, so that's going to be fun. I know we got to unload it into that trailer there. How the hell do I get it out of here? <laughs> Maybe I just have to get near it. I don't know. Oh, that actually worked. Okay, start uh, overloading grapes. Do I want to overload? Is that a thing? Okay, let's just do it. I trust the game knows what it's doing. Oh my... <gasps> Oh, I thought I missed it. Okay, I think they're all going... I hope they're all going in there. Clearly, I was supposed to go to the side of the machine. But that's okay. Look at all those grapes coming out. And I think it acknowledges that it goes inside there. So that's good. And there is my first harvest. Now, if I wanted to, I could simply sell this for a profit and just sell the grapes. But obviously, I would like to try the production aspect of this game. And we're going to have to buy that if I do want to do that. So let's see if we can do this. All right, so I'm going to simply buy plot 47 here, 64,000. That's chump change now. So now I, I'm the proud owner of 47 because I think I need land to place these things. Okay, and yeah, here's all the different types of plants I can buy. Biogas, I mean, grain mill. Obviously, we're looking for some sort of juicer. Is it, is it sugar mill? No, that would be for sugar cane. Cereal factories, oil mills. There we go. Great processing unit. Exactly. Everything in one. Perfect. Makes my life way easier. I guess I could have actually put it just somewhere in here. It's not as big as I thought it would be. But that's okay. I'm the, pl I'm the proud owner of this field over here now, too. So I may as well just kind of put it here. And then we'll just have a lot of our processing in this field. I can always get rid of the field if I want to, but I don't care. That looks fine for the time being. This is just temporary anyways. All right. Didn't leave much room for me to get in here, but that's fine. Uh, do I sell it here? No, that's where... I think I got to put it... Yeah, I, this is... A, a, the whole thing's a drop-off zone, I'm pretty certain. Yep, okay, so now we can start overloading grapes. It's just going to fall on the floor. Don't worry, it's sanitary here. It's brand new. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. That's the good stuff. And voila! I hope that was right. And yes, now I can actually produce raisins and grape juice as long as I have incoming materials of grapes, which I do. I also love that I could choose if I want to do both or one. We're going to activate both and I think it's going to take time. But over time, we should make grape juice and raisins. And why you want to do that is just for the prices here. Let's just compare. We have grapes up here. So a good price for that is like high 1,000s to 2,000. Let's go see how much it is if we refine it. Raisins are a one-to-one -one refinement. And as you can see, even the lowest price is way over. And grape juice, you get 70 for 90 liters, I think it said. So you get a little more money doing that. So it obviously makes sense to do this if you have the money to do so. Because you're going to get a lot more for your raw materials. But that's going to take a long time. So I think this is a good time to end this off anyways. We did a lot today. And look at that. We've made nine liters of raisins and seven liters of grape juice. And I think it just comes out. Yeah, 
well, once they have pallets, they come out here and you pick them up and then you can sell them wherever you want. I almost forgot where you have one more process to do to prepare these for next season and that's to strip the vines. So as you can see, I slept for a couple more months. It is now autumn. And yeah, we have this horrifying piece of machinery and this will essentially saw blade the vines. So yeah, this seems really dangerous, but hey, it's clearly working very well. I also noticed that as you can see, it's on like a swivel. So you don't have to be like perfectly centered. It actually just rotates based on how accurate you are. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is great farming in a nutshell. We can actually see, um, I'll do the rest of this real quick here, but over here, we should have our first yield. And yes, as you can see, we have a lot of grape juice here and delicious raisins. So I actually can't move these. I'm gonna need to buy a forklift for that. I also need some way to transport them. So we'll worry about that later. But yeah, we did grapes from start to finish. That feels pretty good. And uh, yeah. Yeah, what do you guys think of this? Would you guys like to see more processes kind of like this where we do a full season growing something specific? Or do you guys just like the, like the campaign playthrough where I'm just trying to do as much as possible? I definitely want to get more into modding. Definitely want to do some multiplayer. But yeah, I thought we would check out grape farming today because it's brand new into the series. And uh, it's really, really fun dealing with the vines instead of just basic crops. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.